Welcome, 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 CISSP wannabes. I'm Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day, where every day you get two questions to ponder, contemplate, and think about. Let's go ahead and get to it. Question number one today, coming at you from the world of humidity. Uh, looking at this question right here, I want you to pick two answers, or what are two of the risks of humidity being too high? There's your choices. Go ahead and click on pause. When you're ready, click play, and we'll break it all down. Okay, choice number one today, ESD, electrostatic discharge. Uh, no, that is what happens when humidity is too low. We're looking for problems with humidity being too high. Option two on the list, short circuits. Yes, if humidity gets high enough, this can become a problem. So short circuits is definitely something that you would be concerned about if humidity were too high in your environment. Next item on the list is crosstalk. No, crosstalk is when you have uh, interference or information moving from one data pathway to another data pathway or from one circuit to another circuit causing uh, a disruption or, a, or a, an introduction of errors into uh, your signal transmission. Or if you have electromagnetic interference on a piece of cable between different wires that are on the cable, uh, particularly in copper-based communications. Uh, so no, that is not something that we worry about as far as humidity is concerned, but it is something that is, certainly can be a problem, but that's not one of the answer choices that we're looking for here. Next item on the list is corrosion. Corrosion is absolutely something that could become a problem if the humidity in your environment is too high. So that is the second choice that we're looking for here. Uh, next option is going down, just kind of run through the list. These are ones that I just kind of made up to put on the list to distract you, but uh, sediment buildup on the actual connectors. Uh, personally, I never really had a particular problem with that. So um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you've encountered before, because I'd be curious to know. But uh, no, that's not one of the answer choices that we're looking for here. Last two items on the list, overheating. Nope, again, that's not something that we typically worry about when humidity is too high. And unplanned system reset. Uh, that sounds compelling. You might want to try and talk yourself into something like that. But when you're only picking two, the best two answers are the fact that you could deal with issues of corrosion or issues of short circuits. All right, let's do question number two. Which of the following is something that an IDS, a network-based IDS, a network intrusion detection system, or NIDS, as some people like to say, uh, what are, which of these options are things that they cannot do? I want you to pick six. So there's a whole bunch of choices there. Go ahead and click pause, read through, pick six of them, then click play, and we'll break it all down. All right, let's look at it. Uh, first option says that a NIDS cannot inspect encrypted traffic. That's absolutely true. That is one of the shortcomings of network-based intrusion detection. If the data is encrypted, the only way to inspect it would be to have the key, and the IDSs don't have the keys. So they don't have the ability to open those uh, packets up and look inside and see what the contents are. Uh, because of that, it's not too terribly uncommon for attackers to encrypt what they're doing on the network in order to hide the evidence of it. So. Uh, we would instead look for an excessive amount of encrypted traffic coming from a particular device as an indication that something may be wrong. Because actually looking inside those packets isn't something that an IDS is going to be able to help you with. Next item, it says that an IDS cannot detect illegal variations in protocol rules. That's absolutely not true. IDSs can do that. In fact, they excel at doing that. If the protocol rules follow a particular standard, which they do, and something deviates from that standard, an IDS can identify that and say, hey, this isn't right. Um, one of the potential benefits of that maybe is to identify, say, a covert channel or something like that, where somebody's using a field for a purpose that's not supposed to be, uh, it's not supposed to be used for um, in a communications pathway. So absolutely, IDSs can do that. So that's not one of the answer choices here. Next option is, is can an IDS compensate for a weak password policy? No, it cannot. If you have a weak password policy, you need to sort that junk out. Your IDS isn't going to give you a bit of help on that angle. So that is one of the answer choices that we're looking for here because IDSs cannot do that. Okay, next contender. Can an IDS detect TCP and ICMP based denial of service attacks? Absolutely they can. Okay, again, they excel at doing that kind of stuff as well. So that's not one of the answer choices here because they can do that. We're looking for things that an IDS cannot do. All right, how about filtering malicious attachments from email messages? No, that is not what an ID intrusion detection or an IDS system does. So negative on that one as well. So that is one of the answers that we're looking for here because they cannot do that. All right, next one says, can an IDS rate limit attack traffic in order to limit its effectiveness? Uh, no, they don't. Okay. Not any IDS that I've ever seen. If you've seen one, let me know. 
because no, they don't do that. All right, how about detecting malicious activity on a local host or on a local computer? A network-based intrusion detection system cannot do that. This is another one of the, the posters on the billboard um, of shortcomings for in network-based intrusion detection is that they can't see bad stuff going on on the host. They can only see bad stuff that's going on on the network. So this is where you get the, the one-two punch of host-based intrusion detection or host-based intrusion prevention uh, combined with network-based intrusion detection to really kind of team up and, and give you a much more holistic approach to intrusion detection and intrusion prevention on your systems and in your network. All right, how about acting as a log of evidence for a successful attack? Absolutely, an IDS does this for you. Uh, so this is something that it very much does, so that's not one of the choices that we're looking for here. Does an IDS remove the need for human intervention? No, it does not. Okay, humans still have to get involved in this. An IDS, uh, not, I'm not talking about IPS, mind you, I'm talking about IDS. An IDS is really good at going and saying, hey, look what's happening, I see this, but uh, very limited capacity to get involved, uh, which can be somewhat vendor dependent, and uh, humans still have to get involved. All right, we got six of them down, but the last one goes in and says that can they detect uh, zero-day exploits? Uh, in, in, a, in short, no. Uh, an IDS needs updated signatures in order to be able to detect uh, most of the stuff that it detects. That's not to say that it can't detect things that are uh, you know, violations of rules or things that are abnormal in your network, but uh, for the specific evidence of a certain new exploit that's come out, more often than not, we rely upon signature updates in order to do that. And if your IDS has not been updated with those signature updates, then you can't see the evidence of that attack. All right, there you have it. First question was on uh, humidity being too high and what kind of concerns you have associated with it. And the next question was on making sure that you understand what an IDS can do and what an IDS cannot do for you in your network, a network-based IDS. Hope you dug these questions, found them helpful as you continue your study. Make sure you click on like, I'll appreciate that. And also subscribe because I do these questions every single day. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow.